Hi y'all, so this is a quick update on the mini stepper. The reason I'm doing this video, I was thinking about it for a while, but I actually was just like counting up how many steps I've done so far and I've hit, I'm over the 100,000 mile mark. Um, so this was actually a few days ago, maybe even close to a week. I was at 127,495 steps. So I think this is a great time to come back and let you guys know how the mini stepper is holding up. The mini stepper cost about $100 um, all in with like tax. And I think I did pay shipping too. It was around 140 to $150. So really a great value and it is still going strong four months later. It looks pretty much just like it did coming out of the box. And the only things that I've noticed, I'll insert some footage here is like the sunny logo is peeling a little bit nothing major um cleaning the foot pads is definitely annoying because of the little um grips or there's like these little pyramids triangles things on there but um you know other than that you just wipe it down it's working perfectly and this is a really great fitness tool. Like I've always been one of those people that was just reluctant to sort of buy those as seen on TV or, you know, all of those ab rollers and fit, you know, shake weights and all that good stuff just was never my, my so thing. So how did I keep it up for four months using the mini stepper almost every day? I would say just keeping it fun, like mixing up the workouts. I think that's really important to, to continue to get results with this thing. Um, so just varying the number of steps. So when I started my very first week, I started out with 800 steps. Um, and then I gradually increased that to the point where I was doing um, 1,875 steps per day. And I started that around my 12th week. Um, so usually I, would, I was doing jumps of like about 250 steps per week. Sometimes I would stay, you know, at the same step count and then make a big jump after I was, you know, walking and doing a lot of steps. I think I was walking about maybe three miles a day around that time when I started using the mini stepper. So it wasn't, you know, like, obviously if you're completely sedentary, you're probably not going to start out doing 800 steps. But the real win for me here is like, this machine has completely held up. You know, I'm sure I will get half a million steps or even more through the lifetime of owning this thing. So you can't go wrong with it. Um, I also began to incorporate it in my other workout. I had a goal for myself to do 10,000 steps per day for an entire month. And that included steps that I did with the mini stepper, which really helped me a lot because you know, if it was raining or I didn't feel like going outside or I didn't want to spend so much time in the gym, this was a great backup to help me, you know, still get my steps in. Um, with that also incorporating like dumbbells with the workout definitely I noticed like my heart rate of course a lot higher like the the workout is so much more effective and I'm just using little two pound dumbbells um also if I'm doing you know like a YouTube workout and it says jog in place or walk in place for a minute I'm hopping on the mini stepper something else that you can do to kind of switch things up for the intensity is to lower or raise the step height right um, and I'm going to include some photos just of, you know, the past couple months and the change to my figure um, because this is awesome. Like a point is good for you using a stair step. Any, any type of fitness is good for you. But I feel like this really helped me with my belly pooch, like my lower belly. And you guys, I'm coming to you, you know, showing you my imperfections right now. Like I still have some belly going on, but as you'll see in the video, um, there was a lot more. Now in the original unboxing video, I had on this like yellow fitness dress, like tennis dress or whatever. I was going to come back on um, to show but unfortunately that got destroyed in the washing machine due to a broken pen. It's definitely great cardio. I always start sweating when I, when I use this. Um, yeah. 
Now let's talk about some problems that I had and how I fixed them. And a lot of these were the same complaints or issues I saw people having online. And some people even were saying like, oh, this is a piece I threw it away. I can't believe that, you know, it stopped working in this sort of, sort of period of time. So the number one thing is like, if your display does not come on at all, you probably need a battery but yeah if it doesn't come on at all replace the battery it's very easy to do you just pop off this little jammy <laughs> it's so easy it's better if it's on the floor um but yeah you just pop that off there's a little thing inside aha so you would just pop this off and you see this right here like very carefully so you would just remove this little cap and then i use something to get it out because my fingers just won't allow me to but you know carefully remove the battery and replace it now an issue i had when i replaced the battery this little string right here like it seems like and i might even have an issue like when i put this back down and try to use it again you would think you know especially if you did this on the floor on the, a flat surface like I did not touch that. I don't understand what's wrong. It's still not working. Um, be very careful with this, right? So when you pop this out, like don't yank it or anything like that. Be gentle with it. But also this seems to be very sensitive. So they've gotten it. They have it like wrapped here around this little mechanism. For some reason, because I was really worried, especially after seeing all those reviews, um, you know, it, I, it had like a kink, a little kink in it when I push this back in and that was causing issues with the count. So it's a very simple device, but some things can go wrong. Also right here, if it is counting steps, but it's not counting the correct number of steps. So let's say you take like, you know, six steps and it only counted three. Check right here. And this happens a lot when I move the um, mini stepper around. And that's also another way that I've, kind of kept my workouts interesting and kept myself engaged with it. Like I even, you know, I'll take it outside on the balcony, um, things like that. But if this comes loose, it's usually not this pronounced. Like I really pulled it out of there. But if this comes loose, um, that will cause your count to be off. And then the other thing that potentially may go wrong, you see the bands back here speaking about this part so this is something else like looking at it if you're trying to figure out what's wrong or if anything's wrong if if this gets off track it's like you almost have to kind of look at it from different angles you know what i mean because it'll look like it's in there but it could be slightly moved if that happens you'll hear like friction the thing might sound like it's about to blow up or do something weird right? everything is fine just get that back um, where it needs to be um yeah so you'll kind of feel like more tension and you'll hear it more um speaking of hearing the machine or the noise of the machine it is extremely quiet now in the instructions it says never to never use the mini stepper more than 15 minutes at a time so literally what i do is I set you know the workout on my Apple Watch to 14 minutes. That way I should never exceed the 15 minute guideline. Now though I have been guilty sometimes. You know you're close to your step goal for the day or that part of your workout, and it's like I'm just gonna keep pushing and you know go to 15 and a half minutes, 16 minutes, whatever the case may be. And so I did that and I actually picked it up to move it and the bottom like the bot i think it was right here or you know it touched my thigh so while and it does have a warning sticker on it right that says it'll get hot um so while i was able to grab it right here and i had done that multiple times and, and it wasn't hot right here and i kind of just had it you know swinging freely um, but that time touched my thigh and man, that thing burned me up, boy. <laughs> so please be careful. It didn't leave, it didn't actually leave a burn on me, but it felt like it should have left a burn. Um, so 
yeah. My only regret with this thing, I would say, is that I did not get a mini stepper that has resistance bands. This particular model does not come with resistance bands. Um, but I had these um, negative ideas about resistance bands that they just wear out and disintegrate and everything. And I just generally don't like them. But since buying this, my little sunny home gym is growing. Now I have um, the row and ride machine which I was so excited. I found it at Goodwill. I feel like I manifested that, honey, because it was fully assembled um, and I didn't have to deal with like all the box and the trash and assembling it and it was in perfect, pristine, new condition. It was like someone assembled it and left it there just for me to get it for $25, baby. <laughs> so I'll probably do a video on that too. But um, the whole thing about the Rowan Ride and the resistance bands, it does uh, contain three resistance bands. They are very sturdy, heavy duty. Like I said, I'm not a type of person who usually buys this type of equipment. Um, and so I had low expectations for it, but it turns out this stuff is really good. I guess, you know, depending on the brand that you buy and things like that. So it really exceeded my expectations and I could just only imagine what my results would be like or the type of good workouts I would get with the pink mini stepper if only I had resistance bands. Um, I did see a video, I can't remember if it was on here on YouTube or on TikTok, of someone like, they had like wrapped a resistance band around this and they sort of um, contrived their own <laughs> resistance band setup. But I don't think I'm going to do that. Like, I feel like that would probably be a hazard to myself, you know. I love the um, mini stepper. I'm definitely going to keep using it. I'm definitely going to keep using the Rowan Ride machine. I'm going to look into getting a rebounder, preferably a Sunny brand, because I'm just really out of the two pieces of equipment that I have so far that are Sunny. I'm really impressed and I'm having a great, having a great experience. If you watch my other videos, you know that I'm taking Swiss Chris, which is an herbal laxative. I was a little bit nervous about that, and so I was sort of experimenting to see how. Um, the Swiss Chris affected me. So I am currently taking Swiss Chris and working out and using the mini stepper and all the other things that I talked to you guys about. And so I'm just looking to see, you know, what the results and what the outcome is. So we'll stay along for that journey. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that's it. I'm just going to keep it going. I would love to hear from anyone who has this mini stepper, um, what your experience is. Also, if anyone found a way to use resistance bands with this, um, like I said, that other video I saw, they just really kind of, it looked haphazard. It was like, you know, those resistance bands that look like, look like a jump rope and they just like wound it all around, wrapped it around multiple times we were using it like that. I don't know, y'all, I don't know. But if anyone figured out a way to use resistance bands with this, let me know because I, I think we're missing that on this model. All right, you guys, that's all for now. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Peace.